welcome to QA Automated. After launch of Marshmallow OS, you, many of you have noticed that there is some kind of pop-up coming to allow and deny permissions for using your device, location, camera or gallery. So in this case, if your case, test cases are getting stuck uh, in for that pop-up, whether to click on allow and deny and to continue your test cases. So in the today's tutorial, we are going to see that how we can click on allow and continue to run our test cases smoothly. So let's get started with the code. So I have copied this code from my blog, uh, which link is attached in the description section. You can take the code from there. So let me go to the presentation view here. Okay. So now you can see this is a test case where I have added before and after. So this is basically setting up desired capabilities which we have already covered in our previous tutorial. So in our test case, first we are getting this pop-up, the allow deny pop-up which we talked about and we are clicking on the allow. So the important part of this code is this method, how it is implemented. So let's see that. So here we have added a while loop. Why we have ever added a while loop? Because we can have multiple permissions one after the other. Not only one permission. So it can ask for location permission, then again camera permission. So it can come multiple times and each time you have to click on allow to continue further. So here we are uh, giving condition to find this element. So this is second index, second index is for allow button and if you click, uh, do it as a one here then it will be deny button. Okay, and then uh, here you if you notice this we are using mobile buy and not just buy. Why? Because this pop up is not part of your application directly, it is part of your mobile because it is asking for mobile permission. So here we have to use special kind of buy that is mobile buy once you get this so if this condition is true that means you are seeing a pop-up with a loud button that means you can click on that button and continue so this way you can implement your allow app permission button and uh, continue your test cases smoothly thanks for watching this guys please like share and subscribe thank you